Hey everyone. Today, in this session, we are going to learn about how to connect to Snowflake database using Python. So guys, uh, let's first get started with PyCharm. So I'm using PyCharm IDE for writing the code. I'm connecting to the Snowflake database. So let's create a new project here. Yeah, after we, after we click on a create new project, project name I'm giving is test. So for this, I'm going to install a new interpreter that's package. So I'll go to the settings and uh, in project test, I need an interpreter. So click here. Yeah, search for Snowflake. This one. So let's install this package. So the package started installing. So we'll close this. So here below, you can see this. Installing package Snowflake connector Python. Yeah, the package is installed successfully. Let's get, let's create a Python file in this. So I'm creating a Python file in this project. Uh, so I'll name that file as Snowflake. So, and I'm going to create an another file. Uh, but it's a package, a Python package. So I'll name this as config. And in this config package, I'm going to create a new Python file. I'll name that also as config. This config file is used to see the credentials from the uh, Snowflake database. So I have created a necessary file. So now guys, let's move on to the Snowflake database. So here is our Snowflake. So this is my Snowflake account. As you can see here databases created six columns, uh, username, email, password, phone, city and country. So let's go to the worksheet. Here by querying, you can uh, insert delete or perform any database operations so let's get back to the pycharm now i want credentials of snowflake first we need username username password account warehouse And database so we have to give a credentials here of the snowflake database so username is my name and uh, account password I'll mention it later so I can't mention in this recording account to go to the link of your snowflake database and copy from here after sl double slash till one yeah and for warehouses watch in which warehouse in worksheets if you go you'll get here in project so I'm in a warehouse demo so for warehouses you can go here can check in which warehouses you are in so this warehouse I have created demo warehouse to give warehouse name as demo and database name is a project yeah, here you can see now so now let's write a connection port for this import snowflake dot connector as sf from config from file will import config this means that from config package we are importing the config from dot connector import 
depth cursor and insert a price and accept block Now in this, I'll define SQL query of connection, connection and query. Cursor connection dot dot cursor. So here connection and query are the parameters. So cursor equal to now cursor dot close so we have defined so in the try block uh, right well sql well to use of Dot format config dot database execute query of parameter connection SQL. So next is SQL equal to use warehouse warehouse oh, dot format of config so I'll copy the same so we are executing the same so this will fetch from this config file then again SQL equals to enter warehouse of so as we need to resume our warehouse I use this resume Next, we have to copy this as it will be the same. I have included this block in try.
execute this and try and accept block so this will not show any errors so next so for install red query to display the records from the database so query to display records from database SQL select star from table name the table name is users here in my case and cursor is connection the cursor of the cursor so I said it before we use this cursor to display in the form of dictionary format then cursor dot execute SQL and now to display for C in cursor print C yes we have completed the query so now I'll close the cursor cursor dot close yes and now finally I have to close the connection connection dot close yes so now I have to run the code guys run it maybe I don't get any errors you guys can see this uh, it's displaying the whole records in my database let's check it so yeah yeah eight records so now let's take an another query query to insert record into the database yeah. so I'll copy the whole thing I need to change my SQL command so select no insert into table name value of so I have one first thing the username email password phone city and country the all the things are of things or where cash but phone number is only of numbers so name let's take as Rahul email Rahul at gma.com password I'll do it as Rahul one two three and uh, phone number. Now I'll just take it a random number. Yeah. Now next is city. Probably. Country is 
Number of rows inserted is one, and uh, the row which was inserted is this one. Yeah. So this code works, guys. Right. You can try it, and uh, this is my GitHub account. So I have mentioned that code here in my repository. You can take it. Can download it from here. Thank you for watching my video, guys. Please hit the like button and uh, subscribe my channel.